I'm Chris Conti with this News Channel 5 update. Closing arguments are scheduled to begin later today in the trial against the man accused of murdering one person at an Antioch church. This morning, the state is playing jailhouse phone calls between Emmanuel Sampson and his girlfriend. They are arguing that his testimony yesterday was inconsistent with what these recordings say. There's about uh, 1,500 calls totaling 350 hours since Sampson was in jail. Emmanuel Sampson took the stand in his own defense yesterday, saying he doesn't remember killing that woman and injuring seven people. Do you remember shooting Melanie Crow? I do not. Do you remember shooting, shooting Pastor Joey Spann? I do not. Do you remember shooting any of those other people that stood up and testified? No, I don't. While Sampson says he remembers shooting himself inside the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ in 2017, he told the jury he doesn't recall putting on a mask or te technical vest or writing a note referencing the Charleston church shooter. He said in the weeks leading up to that shooting, he was having hallucinations and not feeling like himself. Our gavel to gavel coverage of the trial continues today on News Channel 5 Plus and streaming all day long on NewsChannel5.com. New information right now on a manhunt for a murder suspect in Cookville. Andrew Price, who's wanted for stabbing a woman to death and assaulting a second woman, has been taken into custody. Officers tell us Price got into a fight with 22-year-old Kelsey Alexis Lamb at a home on Foundation Drive last night. That's when he stabbed her. Police say he assaulted a second woman when she tried to help. And we're learning more about how the NFL draft in Nashville impacted the city and the record books. The NFL draft made a whopping $224 million in economic impact for Music City. Direct spending totaled $133 million. 32% of the money went to lodging, 21% to recreation, 17% to food and drinks, 16% to retail, and 12% of that went to transportation. The draft in Nashville drew a record crowd of 600,000 people. How does it look at your headlines? Here's Leland with your forecast. All right, thank you, Chris. In Nashville and around the Mid-South this afternoon, record heat, a good possibility for us today. The current record today is 91. We're going to shoot for 93 with an isolated shower, a thunder shower today. 70 tonight, then tomorrow, 94. That, too, would be a record breaker. And look for that heat to continue through Memorial Day. Make it a good afternoon.